Welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Comic Con Studio. I'm Sam Heifel, and I'm joined now by the cast and creator of Wolfpack, Jeff Davis, the man who brings us werewolves when we need them. I, I never thought I would be the werewolf guy. <laughs> yeah, what do you feel like your 20-year-old self would think? I'm, I'm okay with it, though. Yeah. yeah, you're good with it. Well, let's talk, because obviously this is a book series, but like, has this been something you've been wanting to make for a long time? How did this come about? Um, wanting to, no. I, I would say that after teen, 100 episodes of Teen Wolf, I thought I was done with werewolves. Yeah. And so they asked me, they said, would you be interested in doing another Supernatural TV show? And I said, yeah, Supernatural, of course. And they said, would you be interested in doing something sort of similar to Teen Wolf? And I said, well, is it actually teen werewolves? And they said, maybe. <laughs> I'm not kidding, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so they sent me the book, and I said, well, this actually does tie into something I've been thinking about for a while, which was uh, the California wildfires. Mm. And I had that indelible image of uh, the 405 on fire yeah. in my head. And I thought to myself, I just had a single image in my head of uh, what if a school bus was stuck in traffic, sitting in mm. right next to that fire? And that's how it started. That's how the show starts? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thrown right into it. But speaking of being part of like supernatural TV shows, what made you want to be a part of this? Me? <laughs> I didn't know if you're talking oh, to them. I'm not sure. <laughs> Actually, interestingly enough, a lot of what Jeff said was very similar. The 405 fire I lived through, we were evacuated for mm -hmm. a week. And so when he brought up the idea, sort of utilizing that as the tipping off point for this story and bringing in the idea of how isolated we all feel. We live in this extremely connected world right now and yeah. somehow yet we're all so much more disconnected than we've ever been and how hard it is to find your pack. and where you fit in and how you fit in. And look, I love a good scare as good as the next person. <laughs> so being able to sort of tell that story through that lens and with Jeff writing, I initially, and he knows this, I, I was gonna say no before I even read it. And then I started reading it and I'm like, this is so good, what do I do? And, and then it just came to the point where I had to say yes. Yeah, so had you written it specifically with her in mind? No, actually. Um, and I thought to myself, oh my God, I gotta write more scenes. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I, I said to the studio, they said, well, what about Sarah Michelle Gellar? And I said, she's never going to do it. <laughs> um, and then she read it, and suddenly, uh, a day later, I said, they want to set up a Zoom with you and Sarah Michelle. And I was like, really? <laughs> uh, so I was promising her, no, 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 the role's much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> she was like, no more scenes. No, we're good. <laughs> but it was actually, it was amazing, because it did... Uh, I, I knew the role she was playing, and um, I knew the ideas of where the show would go, but uh, I mean, once Sarah and Rodrigo and the rest of the cast were, were, fell in, you, you find the they find the characters, and then you write for them. Right. So it was, it's been an amazing experience. Yeah. Well, I feel like there's so little about this show out there. I've read the description. I know a couple of your characters, but let's go around and like, let's do a character rundown. Tell me a little bit about who you're playing. We can start here and go back. Oh, I tell nothing. You will have to watch and find out. <laughs> Same here. No, um, well, Harlan Briggs is Luna's brother. brother. And, well, wow, I don't even know where to start with him. He is sort of in his own world. He kind of just, you know, whatever, like Harlan plays by his own rules. He likes doing his own thing. I wouldn't say he's a loner, but he definitely has like a crowd of people where like it's not in like what you would consider like the norm. Sure. And um, he is gay as well, but that is just such a small part like of who he truly is as sure. a person that it just like all of it coming together. Like I feel that everyone is really going to enjoy just the way he interacts with all of us. I mean, we all have different personalities and it's yeah. we are yeah. never defined by who we love. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're all human. Yeah. Well, sort of. Well, actually, Harlan like, is <laughs> sort of. <laughs> uh, yeah. I play Luna Briggs, I'm Harlan's sister, and uh, I think we find Luna at a very, uh, wanting to find her pack in the very beginning, and she's, she's very lonely, but she's also very empathetic, and she wants you know her people, and I think initially when she meets these guys, it's love at first sight, you know, she's wanted this for so long, and, and she finally feels connected to them and there's, there's a lot of pushback. Um, so it's kind of Luna wants this and then everybody else is like, what is, what's going on? Yeah. Um, Everett's sort of on her side, but you know, <laughs> you'll see more of that. And then uh, I think as it goes on, she realizes that you know, you, sometimes you don't always get your pack. Um, sometimes that's not always the way that it goes and um, therefore she might 
change a little bit by the end of the season, so we'll have to watch and see that. <laughs> Next thing. Jeff, who are you playing? Yeah, Jeff, who are you playing? This is when I, you reveal. I play the uh, exhausted writer. <laughs> You do a beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fade in <laughs> interior hotel room. Yeah. Me with a bag of Swedish fish trying to get through another page. <laughs> Should I go next? Yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, I play Everett Lang. That's L A N G, not to be mistaken with L A N E. <laughs> the street, because I know that it might sound like I'm saying that. Um, he's maybe been mistaken a few times. Everett is uh, he's a teenager with not a lot of friends, a, um, a lot of anxiety, and not the best parents and he gets bitten by a supernatural creature in a wildfire and after meeting a girl who's in the same situation and a pair of almost twins that hide a lot of secrets he starts to realize that maybe it's for the best all right that's about it <laughs> i've told them that if they feel this microphone hit their head they've uh, said too much. <laughs> said too much? Great. i'm always worried i was like oh, what should yeah. i say yeah um i play blake navarro uh, she has been through a lot with her family, which has caused her to, um, it's hard for her to trust people, so she's very closed off, and it's really hard for her to trust people, especially people that she first meets, like the Briggs twins and Everett, and, um, eventually through the season, we see her warm up to them and realize that without them, her family could be in danger, and people she really cares about could be in danger, so she really opens up to them, and she learns to embrace the pack. <laughs> Perfect, beautiful. Yeah. I play Garrett Briggs, um, father of uh, two children uh, that have a very special connection uh, to nature. He's, uh, you know, he's a, a park ranger, so he protects nature, and he's a. Uh, he will do anything uh, to protect uh, his kids from outsiders, but especially from themselves. Mm. And he does hold uh, very important secrets. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Don't we all? <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Jeff, I'm so curious because, as we mentioned at the start of this, you know werewolves well. Did you feel any need with this show to reinvent, isn't the right word, but to do something vastly different? Or are we kind of looking at a more traditional kind of werewolf tale? I did want to do something different, but from Teen Wolf. With sure. Teen Wolf, one of the first things we did was we said, okay, here's the traditional te uh, werewolf myth. How do we spin it? This, I wanted to go back to more traditional myths. Okay. Um, so, but for me, it always starts with the characters. I, had a f I, I thought to myself, what do I have left to say? And I found that with teenagers, um, these days especially, there are issues such as anxiety, uh, disconnected youth, trying to find each other, can, can, it can they still find each other in a, in a world like this where it's all technology, pandemics, and people are being separated? And that's really what the story's about. The story's about these four kids finding each other and finding their pack and finding their people. Can you tell me anything about what the werewolves look like? They're all real werewolves. <laughs> I, scary. I could tell you, but <laughs> so we're actually still crafting the look. Okay. So probably right up to the last minute. All right, exciting. <laughs> well, I feel like, I mean, you guys are at Comic Con right now, like fantasy. Wait, we're at Comic Con. <laughs> Heads really? up. I thought there was a reason why there were all of these people in costumes around us. I thought it was just early Halloween, and I was confused about my dates. Uh, <laughs> it is also kind of early Halloween. Um, <laughs> but these these shows, fantasy shows, tend to have very intense, passionate fans, followings. Sarah, have you prepared them at all for what could come? Was I supposed to? <laughs> I yeah. asked Sarah you to. Sorry. Sorry. She I does, though. She, she does gives us though. great advice all the time, just yeah. about being young actors in the industry mm -hmm. and just dealing with certain scenarios. She's great. She's yes. not going to say advice. it herself. And yeah, she's not going to say respectful. it. Respectful. She is like the best role model that. Oh, she's the coolest. We love Sarah. We love you all. It's just for the interview. We're not. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're going to oh. ignore her completely <laughs> after this. Uh. Thought I was finally in with the cool kids. <laughs> Uh, amazing. All right. Well, we will let you guys go. But thank you for stopping by. Thank Thanks you. for having thank you, us. Sam. Everybody else, stay tuned to EW.com for all your New York Comic Con needs.